Welcome to episode 2 of Short and to the Point, Custom Championships, how to reset without losing your data. My name's Martin, or Cozy61, but today we're looking at how we can reset the championships, such as the F1 2020 Championship. In the next five minutes, I'm going to explain how we can do that without losing all your information. There will come a time in your championship when you are two or three races in, maybe even more than that, and you need to modify something. But as you can see from the screen, we've got a choice of resetting and losing everything that we've done because it's telling us that we can't modify this. Well, there is a way around this. It's not that difficult. Once you've learned how to do it, it's easy, but I'll walk you through it and that way you won't lose all your information. The first thing we need to do is locate the champs in e file. Now you will find this in Documents, Assetto Corsa, Launcher Data, and then File Store. And then you will see the champs in e folder. Now this will hold everything that you need in regards to your championships. You may be running two or three championships, or just the one. So you can see I'm highlighting the one that we want to change. So the first thing we're going to do, make a copy of the champs in it. So just click, right click and click copy and then just paste and it'll say copy. Now what we're going to do is change the name of this file to original. Just today's date, in the date that you're changing it and then you know that's your original file and that's the one you don't want to lose. The other one, the champs any file that's left, that's the one we're going to amend. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to the uh, RSS F1 Championship and we're going to highlight information. All our points are there, uh, the AI's points are there, but we're going to get, just delete those up to the point where it says event, leave event there, but change the five to zero. Or it may be six, it may be seven, but change it to zero and then save. Very important that we save. Once we've done that, we're able to go back to the championship and you should find that instead of saying resume it says start. So by clicking on start you now look at all your races and you see that none of the races have been run and that you can make any changes you want in the rounds information. Now this could be the temperature, the track start time, how fast the track is, duration, but we're going to work with weather. But at the moment it says random, we're going to change that to say few clouds and China because that's where we were up to. But more importantly, don't forget we must save every time we make those changes. Now we're going to go back again to documents, set a course and launch data, and we're going to go to file store again. Now this time delete the champs any folder and then we're going to rename the champs original folder to champs any. No information has changed in these particular folders and I'll show you where the information changes. The information changes if you remember when you started a championship you dragged your champs folder into documents. So we're going to find the champs just go date modified and the one at the top should be the one. All we need to do, we'll open both here. One is the RS Champ, one is the JSON, what I call JSON file or JSON file. And all we're looking for is to make sure the changes happen. So if we go down where the tracks are, China, you'll see that weather has been inserted and Sol, few clouds. Okay, so now we can come back to the championships. We'll click on it. You notice it says resume. There you go. All your information is back, the change of weather is back, or whatever you've decided to change. And the current modify it's on, so that is a simple way to ensure that you don't lose all your information. You're able to continue racing, as well as make changes to it. Sometimes it can be very frustrating when you've gone through all the effort of racing and then find that you need to make a change. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I know it's short and to the point, but that's what it's supposed to be. If you want to, go to my race department download and leave me any comments if you've got any issues or problems or any YouTube uh, comments section below. I'll always try and reply as soon as I can. 
Until then, stay safe and enjoy your racing. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.